Hi, I'm Paul Loker, and I'd like to give you an Architecture 101 course on the Wayne County Courthouse in downtown Worcester, Ohio, which is presently undergoing a multi-million dollar restoration. The story of the present Wayne County Courthouse, which is actually the third courthouse to occupy the same site, started in 1877 when the structure of the second courthouse built in 1833 began to fail. The county recruited the talents of nationally noted architect Thomas Boyd of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and Boyd designed the building in the so-called Second Empire style, whose popularity swept through both America and Europe from about 1855 until 1885. The Second Empire architectural style can be traced to France, and specifically to the reign of Napoleon III from 1852 to 1870. It was under his direction that Paris was completely rebuilt, with wide avenues and striking monumental buildings, replacing the medieval period alleys and structures that had existed previously. As public architecture, the Second Empire style was meant to pack a real wow factor. It was simply over the top and in your face and meant to impress, to exude not only great character, but also a sense of permanence. At its most elaborate, the style was often described as looking akin to a wedding cake. Yet, at the peak of its popularity in the United States, the style was considered very fashionable and a contemporary statement of modernity. In short, it was the kind of architecture that you wanted to have in your town in the second half of the 19th century. And I might note here, a very close relative in appearance to the Wayne County Courthouse would be Philadelphia's City Hall. If not for a difference in the clock towers, the two buildings would be remarkably similar. Also, the Atlantes, or the figures of Atlas that support both the south and east doorway pediments of the Wayne County Courthouse, are jaw-droppingly similar to those featured on St. George Church in Hamburg, Germany. And it's increasingly thought that the Worcester figures may have actually been created by German stone carvers who were familiar with those particular statues. Style elements of the Second Empire ornamentation included heavily bracketed cornices, corner coins, balustrades, towers, and always a mansard roof. Beyond its sheer visual strength, the advantage of a mansard is the added space it offers. Behind what appears to be a roof, there is actually room for a full floor instead of just an attic. And a mansard roof in the Second Empire style was always, always, always topped with a cast or wrought iron cresting, which the Wayne County Courthouse had at the time of its creation, but which was taken down sometime around World War II. In my opinion, for whatever that's worth, it would be an extremely serious mistake, almost a crime against architecture, for the county commissioners not to include the restoration of the courthouse's iron cresting within the scope of the current project. Samples of the original cresting exist and can be readily recast, although admittedly it wouldn't be cheap to do. My feeling is that in order to maintain the integrity of the courthouse's architectural style, some way absolutely has to be found to fund the replication and installation of the iron cresting that originally existed on the building. I think that as a county trying to restore the structure that is our greatest landmark, an architectural calling card, it is incumbent upon us that we find a way to facilitate this. Not to reincorporate this critical element of the courthouse's architectural pedigree will hugely diminish its appeal and visual impact. Also, let me give you a little sidelight, in the interest of full disclosure, about the courthouse's history. The fact is, we only built half a courthouse originally. Thomas Boyd's original plans called for a central clock tower flanked by identical wings to the north and to the south. The problem was that the county had built the office building, today known as the courthouse annex, only 20 years earlier and the good and frugal citizens of Wayne County were not going to tear down a perfectly good and usable building just to facilitate the vision of some fancy pants out of state architect. And so the result was that the courthouse we enjoy today is only half of Mr. Boyd's originally planned project. Oh, and by the way, the original price tag to build the Wayne County Courthouse, a scandalously extravagant $75,000 been a pretty good investment all these years, huh? Done.